In this video, five absolutely banging mocktail recipes, cocktails without the booze, using uh, Monin's coconut puree. These will be great if you don't drink alcohol, great if you're a designated driver, great if you're pregnant and get left out of drinks all the time, but also perfect for the kids as well. All of these will be perfect for the kids. But of course, I think these are worthy of any pub or bar mocktail menu or cocktail menu, the mocktail section of that. I think these are absolutely perfect. Or of course, take the recipes, add a bit of booze, add a bit of gin to some, add a bit of rum to most of them, whatever takes your fancy. These are just purely here for inspiration. Now it's worth noting in these five recipes, I am going to flash blend. I've got my little flash blender there to one side. If you haven't got a blender, that's absolutely fine. And by flash blend, I mean your spindle blender, like a milkshake blender, not a, like a neutral bullet type of blender. Um, but if you haven't got one of those, that's absolutely fine. Shake them, they'll work a treat. I just like sort of flash blending this style of drink, especially with like these purees. Now, if you are looking for other coconut recipes, so far already this month, I have dropped um, the first First video, the launch video in the Cocktail Club showcasing, I think it was seven or eight different recipes, famous recipes you can make with a coconut puree. On the Fridays, I've also dropped uh, inspiration uh, proper cocktails using this, you know, riffs and twists on famous cocktails, my kind of stuff. But now it is time for the non-alcoholics, the mocktails. And if you do want to get involved in the Cocktail Club, make sure you uh, check out the first video that I'll link to uh, at the end of the video. There is a, a, a link in the pinned comment as well and in the description. You can get this bottle uh, discount and you can get win a chance, you get the chance to win next month's flavor completely free. That's all in our Cocktail Club. But let's dive into the recipes. Recipe number one, a coconut and strawberry colada. Uh, this shouldn't be too sweet. We're gonna use the, the morning coconut. We've got a little bit of the, my favorite strawberry from Monin, the wild strawberry. This is amazing. Got a little bit of cream and a little bit of cranberry juice. The cranberry juice is going to cut back the uh, cut back the sort of tart or the sweetness, if you like, with a little bit of tartness there. So 30 ml of this coconut uh, puree there from Monin. Love this stuff. Absolutely love this stuff. Uh, 15 ml, you can adjust this to taste, but one five ml of strawberry syrup. If you're using the other strawberry syrup, that's fine, but this one's absolutely amazing. Uh, so we've got that. I'm then gonna do 30 ml of cranberry juice. Could you use pomegranate juice? I like putting cranberry juice with strawberry juice, uh, strawberry, because it kind of, you, you don't lose the taste of the strawberry. The strawberry really kind of punches through, and this gives you a little bit of uh, extra volume, if you like, so 30 ml of uh, cranberry juice. Up that if you want. Up that to 50 ml is completely up to you. Uh, and then I'm just gonna do sort of 50 ml of uh, cream in there. Now I'm just gonna crush dice that up, uh, flash blend it. Five seconds later, that's absolutely delicious. Little bit of sweetness to it, but not too much. Just do, just dump that into your pina colada glass, your hurricane glass, whatever you got. We're just gonna top it up with a little bit more crushed ice. And then garnish, if you've got fresh strawberries, fresh strawberries will be the, the best way to go here. But we've got a little fruits for drinks um, here. Dehyde, uh, freeze dried, sorry, freeze dried strawberries. I'm just gonna whack a couple of those on top there. And that is my strawberry uh, strawberry and coconut colada. Mocktail number two, a riff on the painkiller, one of my favorite sort of rum cocktails. Uh, I'm using Liars spiced cane, non-alcoholic spiced rum, essentially. Uh, coconut, uh, and then pineapple and orange juice. Again, uh, flash blending. So we are going for 30 ml of this coconut puree, three zero. Lovely, jubbly, uh, and then, I'm going for a 50 mil, even though I've uh, I've got a, U, uh, a US magic here. I'm going for 50 mil. You can go 60 mil, of course you can. Uh, 50 mil of um, this. I, this give you a close up of that. I, I really like this. This is great. I use this in hemp pies quite a lot. Uh, this is really really good stuff. Obviously, it hasn't got the you know. If you're thinking it's going to taste like proper spiced rum, then no, you know, there's no alcohol in them. But for the job they do, these are really really good, and I really love them. I use the white cane. I think that's what it's called, the white one. I've got that at home. I use that quite a lot for hemp parties as well. So, 50 ml, so 30 ml of coconut, 50 ml of the uh, non-alcoholic spiced rum there. Uh, going for 30 ml of um, uh, orange juice, and then I'm going for 60 ml of pressed pineapple juice. If you can, the better the quality of the juices, uh, the better this will taste. If you just use juice from concentrate, it's not gonna taste as good as the stuff that's pressed and all that. So, again, uh, crushed ice, flash blend. 
Again, this is delicious. Five seconds later, you really do. That spiced rum, non-alcoholic spiced rum, really does come through. I'm a big fan. Obviously, it's not got the alcohol kick, but you do get the notes there. It doesn't get lost in this. So, uh, as we've uh, flash blended, shake and dump there, top up with a bit more crushed ice, and then garnish. I'll sort this out for the thumbnail, but I've got... Um, you can use pineapple front, you can use pineapple wedge, of course you can, uh, but I'm just gonna use uh, one of the ODK dehydrated pineapples. Sprig of mint as leery as you want. The other important thing you have to do that I almost forgot about, this is the whole point of the pen killer. How could I forget this? The nutmeg, the nutmeg, you need the nutmeg on top. <laughs> Completely forgot that, there we go. Sprinkle a bit of nutmeg on top. The nutmeg in the pen killer is the best thing. And then you can garnish with your pineapple. Now the third recipe, uh, kind of a riff on a caipirinha, non-alcoholic caipirinha, coconut and hibiscus caipirinha, essentially. I've got the spice drum. I've got it here. I've just used it for that. I just thought I'd do You could do the white cane. You don't have to use it at all. To be fair, that, that and that will make a lovely uh, a lovely drink. This is just going to cut it back just ever so slightly. And Monin do a Caribbean rum uh, syrup as well. But again, it's a syrup. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do 30 ml of this coconut again. Uh, I am then going to, that's all in there, lovely. Uh, 50 ml of uh, this spiced cane, um, spiced, spiced rum, non-alcoholic spiced rum, that's the word I'm looking for, there we go. 15 ml of hibiscus, I've got really into hibiscus uh, these days, or oh, sorrel if you're from the Caribbean or the, U, uh, the US or that, but hibiscus, just one five ml of hibiscus syrup there. Actually like sort of adding a bit of spice to that as well. Uh, and then adjust the taste on this. I'm going 15 mil. You can use 30 mil if you want it a little bit extra citrusy, but just 15 mil of lime juice. Again, we are gonna crush dice that up and flash blend it. I tell you what, that's really amazing as well. Oh, the hibiscus really does come through, but that little bit of citrus in there really does work. Uh, so just kind of shake and dump. Top up with a little bit more crushed ice. And then I'm rocking out all the dehydrated stuff today. So uh, ODK dehydrated lime. You can do a couple of those, fresh lime. Again, strawberries, flowers, whatever you want because of this hibiscus, whatever takes your fancy, but that is absolutely delicious. Now, mocktail number four, I absolutely love bounties, the chocolate bar bounties, chocolate and coconut. And I really wanted to create something like that. So very, very minimal. Uh, we've got the coconut, we've got cream. Uh, I've got this chocolate sauce. Let's give you a little close up of that while I'm doing that. Obviously, I've got some uh, Cornish sea salt because uh, we like a bit of Cornish sea salt. You know, we don't go molding, we go Cornish. Uh, and I'm just going to sort of serve it up in there. So the first thing I'm going to do, I haven't really featured this sort of stuff much. I've had it here quite well, but never really used it. Uh, the chocolate sauce should sure just, there we go. Just going to decorate the inside of the glass there. Lovely. And then I'm going to kind of, let's just set that to one side. Now I'm just going to kind of eyeball uh, roughly about 15 mil. This is quite punchy, so you don't need to, you don't need too much of it. There we go. About 15 mil of the uh, the dark chocolate sauce. We're going for standard, as I've been doing, uh, 30 mil of the uh, the coconut. There, lovely. We're then going to top that up with 50 mil of cream. Uh, so that's that single cream, whatever, whatever you fancy. Milk, if you want, you know. I, I think you need the cream in this there. So about fifth, oh, just forty-five mil. Let's go forty-five mil of cream. Perfect. And then, as I said, the pinch of Cornish sea salt. We have to do Cornish. Dance. We have to do not too much. I do love a little bit of salt with this sort of stuff. And to be fair, in like a pina colada or something like that, but just a little pinch. You don't need too much of Cordish sea salt. So again, crushed ice and flash blend. And this, this looks proper chocolatey, so just kind of dump, shake it, look at that. <laughs> look at that, proper, proper, proper. We've got all the chocolate out of there. A bit, a bit more crushed ice on top, and then you could garnish that with some grated chocolate or just a bar of chocolate or whatever you fancy, but that's just kind of a, a bounty. It's, it's a bounty on steroids, absolutely delicious. I tell you what as well, if you want a boozy equivalent of that, just a lump of a bit of spiced rum or something like that in there. That's going to be absolutely amazing. Oh, that's so good. It is liquid bounty. Then my final uh, masterpiece of the video 
uh, coconut and passion fruit punch. Uh, again, I'm using a Liars here, and I'm using the Italian, I think this is one, the Italian spritz for that. The Liars do too, they do, this is kind of what I would call a cam uh, the Aperol equivalent. Uh, they also do the bitter orange, which I think is the Campari equivalent, if you like. So this is like the Aperol, and I just love the bitter sweet things. So you can do that quite easily uh, using uh, non-alcoholic stuff. And I've got something here because I was doing it a bit earlier. To be fair, Monin actually do their own version of this. It's not, it is a syrup, it's not overly sweet, but because I've got ginger in here as well, I opted for the lies, which isn't sweet at all. But you can do stuff like this. So this, I'm looking forward to trying this. So as always, seamless editing, I hope, because that was being washed up. <laughs> 30 ml of a coconut uh, puree. The bottle, we've nearly got bottle kill on the coconut puree. Very nearly, a couple more left in there. Uh, we are going 20 ml of this stuff. There you go. There's your there's your close up there. Uh, I th I think this is these are lovely stuff. I've done a few. If you go into the drink stuff product page, I've got videos where I talk about these. So uh, I'm going for 20 ml of that. Perfect in there. Uh, we're then going for 15 ml of lime juice. One of five ml of that. Uh, 10 ml of ginger, you don't have to do the ginger. As I say, this is just purely inspiration. Uh, so 10 ml of ginger, and then we are going for 50 ml, five zero uh, of a passion fruit juice. Good old Rubicon passion fruit juice. And again, up this if you want to. Uh, but again, as I've always done through this, crushed ice and flash blend, and I won't lie, that apple, the apple, non-alcoholic um, Italian, what's it called? Italian spritz does exactly the job I wanted it to. It's a little bit of sweetness in there, the citrus cups it back, but that bitterness cuts it back even more. So again, just shake and dump, top up with a bit more crushed ice, and then I think to garnish, again, mint sprigs, pineapple fronds, you know, tiki glass if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna crack out uh, for the thumbnail. I'm just gonna crack out another one of these dehydrated pineapples. 